Hello everyone, this is Momo and I'm here with you to create this uh, rope chain. One of the members of an official metric school group uh, shared this photo and asked for help. So uh, to create something like that, I prefer to use a helix with five turns and then I create a circle and pipe it. And then I try to adjust it and put it in appropriate place. So now it's time to use array align curve command to array this object uh, uh, along the curve. So this is um, um, uh, this is what we get uh, when we are uh, a free from rotation. It means our object is free to roll, pitch, and yaw along the rail. But by changing the orientation. Uh, option in uh, array along curve command. I want to show you how to change the result. So now it's time to change the orientation from a freeform to road like. By choosing the road like option, we can apply some limitations to object orientation along the rail by choosing different C planes. For example, in top C plane, we doesn't allow uh, the object to rotate along some specific angles in front and right the same. What we want it in right C plane. So as you can see, when I choose orientation in road like and then we report to right, we can get the, uh, the same results that we want. So now let me show you technique in um, different, uh, with, with different colors. So now for better understanding, I create three curves of the different color. Each color represents a uh, different uh, axis. So red uh, is for X, uh, green is for Y, and blue is for Z. Uh, so now it's time to use a ray line curve in a free form. And in free form, and then uh, using the array along curve uh, in road like mode and in top and in front and in right. Free form, all, uh, all curves rotate in a different angles in top y axis uh, parallel to um, uh, top C plane, in front z axis parallel to. Uh, front C plane and in right, as you can see, uh, the uh, Z axis is parallel to uh, right C plane. So this is the power of the orientation in a road-like mode.